hope you are all doing well today's video is going to be a review of a new foundation that has just launched here in the uk i think a couple of days ago and it is the clinique super balance silk foundation if you have watched my previous foundation review videos while i tested seven high-end foundations over one week you would know that clinique the original super balanced foundation was featured in one of those videos so i was really curious to know about the difference between the original super balance and the new super balance silk and i learned from the consultant that was there on clinic counter that they are not going to discontinue the original one so i'm not sure what this new foundation offers it is going to come in the same exact packaging of course i have the full bottle of the original formulation and i only got a sample on the clinic counter of the new formula to test it out for you today in a first impression so if i show you this is how the bottle of the original clinic super balance foundation looks like and the new one is just going to look exactly the same but here on the front it's going to add the words silk and it also contains an spf of 15 which is going to be stated also on the front of the bottle i would have really hoped that they added a pump to this glass bottle because they didn't so the original super balanced the new super balanced come like that anyway shade wise i think they tried to improve the shade tone so they still have i think 18 20 shades in this range but it is going to be more um let's say golden and yellow in tone uh while the original super balanced has a uh, few yellow toned uh, shades while they contain lots of pinks and neutrals and here on my hand i'm going to show you a swatch of the original super balance in the shade 05 vanilla which matches my uh, nc30 skin tone perfectly it is a bit golden pink so it is not yellow it is golden pink and i think this tone matches my skin so well however the shades between the two foundations do not match so the lady on the counter matched me to 07 sahara which she thinks is going to be the alternative to the 05 vanilla in the original formulation anyway let's look at the swatches of course i do not have any foundation on my face and we'll see how this foundation applies and yeah she gave me a sample of the primer the original uh clinique primer that comes in a, a, a white tube and uh, she said that it is recommended that you apply this primer under the foundation so i'm going to apply this primer and the silk foundation on top but first let's look at the swatches close up so i am coming super super close here you will find the original super balanced in the shade vanilla 05 and this is 07 sahara in the new super balanced silk foundation if i turn my hand like that i'm not sure i want you to see the shades both of them are actually going to match me well but i still prefer the one here the 05 vanilla because as i mentioned it is a bit more neutral pinky golden this is a straight up yellow and as you could see on my hand, the silk one dried a lot faster. This one is still not set. So I'm not sure how this is going to play on my face. Let's start by applying the primer. So this is the amount the consultant gave me on the clinic counter in boots here. And I'm just going to dot a tiny bit here really you do not need that much so the primer feels so cooling on the face and a tiny amount really goes a long way so you definitely do not need to apply a lot and it is really silky as well so i'm going to zoom you in we'll talk about the primer and apply the foundation up close so that you could see better how the foundation is going to perform on my face and how it is going to match my complexion and it is a chance for you to see how my skin really looks when um, it is bare without any makeup okay so i guess this is close enough the primer is very smooth on the face and it has a blurring effect but it is not so silicony like other very silicon heavy primers so this is the sample that i got of the foundation and i'm going to apply 
some on my face dotting of course so I think this is pretty enough for now and I barely touched this amount I think she gave me about five mils of this product which is so generous and good that's why you always have to try to get samples if you can if you are in a department store that stocks these high-end foundations and I'm going to use a brush that many people may have in their possession already or something similar to it so this is the Real Techniques buffing brush so I'm just going to try and blend the foundation and I could already tell that this foundation is streaks anyway if you move it around fast enough it's going to look nice so nothing serious and something to note that this sets so quickly so as I am blending it it's really drying and setting as you could see here I have a blemish and I think the coverage is good with this tiny amount I got I think medium high coverage but I think uh, they really recommend to use this primer underneath because they contain the same core ingredients which is the silicon this silky feeling so they work really well together so if I want to describe this foundation for you uh, from a first impressions it dries very fast so you do not have a very long time trying to blend it here the swatches on my hand the original one is still shiny not set or dry the silk one is completely matte the finish of this foundation is not matte but it dries super fast it is really silky it looks nice on the face but I think this has a tendency to cling to dry patches of course I cannot see any of that on my face because I am so religious in trying to exfoliate my skin every day, especially here on my nose where it gets a bit dry. But I would see the potential of this foundation caking up on people who have dry skin or if you have loads of dry patches. Would this work on people who have oily skin? I think yes, because as I mentioned, it dries super fast. So this is not a very emollient foundation that is going to mix up with the oil on your skin and cause a mess it would really suit someone who has oily skin i have combination skin a bit of both dry in some areas and oily in some areas or probably sometimes dry and oily in the same area meaning that for example my nose gets shiny but it has some flakes because of the weather or whatever or dehydration what is the difference between this and the original and would you get this instead of the original considering that both have the same price points i would say uh the new one has a spf of 15 so if you want to wear it during the day to have an extra some protection not complete of course i think you might want to go with the uh, clinique silk or super balanced silk and if you have a yellow undertone and you found that the original Super Balanced offers, offers a variety of pink undertones that didn't really suit you, you might really find your shade here. As I mentioned, the shade really looks yellow and looking from a distance, I could see that my skin really looks so golden and yellow. I'm a bit more neutral, you know, or olive uh, versus yellow. But it still could work it's so good for someone who has nc30 skin it's amazing i'm going to blend some blush or bronzer on top and tell you how powders sit on top of this foundation and we'll be right back so i've applied some uh, mac give me some bronzer on my face because i really like how these golden or yellow tones look with this red lipstick so no blush just bronzer and i was saying that my face looks yellow and i come and i add more yellow toned bronzer anyway the foundation blended perfectly and because i do not have a lot of blemishes to cover i think one layer is more than enough to even out your skin tone and give you medium coverage but here as i told you i have some healing scar so i applied a tiny bit on top just here and i think it's pretty much gone or, or it is not so noticeable bronzer applied very evenly on top and the finish of this looks so satiny 
and it kind of blurs your pores or smooths over them. So I think this foundation might be a great all-rounder foundation and it is very affordable considering that it is a higher-end brand. Clinique usually do excellent products, but they are usually a bit cheaper or sometimes way cheaper than other high-end brands like Lancome, Dior or YSL and the like. I think this is a pretty good foundation. I'm going to take a photo at the end of the day and insert it here and state my update on how this foundation wore because as you remember, if you watch my other uh, super balance foundation review you know that i like that foundation a lot and it wore so well during the day after i think six or seven hours i do not really test foundations for 12 or 24 hours because i do not usually wear foundations that much but after seven hours i usually like to look at the foundation and see that it looks perfect you know so uh, if a foundation broke on me after four hours, it is no good. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you found this review helpful. I gave you some information about my shade, about uh, the suitability for skin types and skin tones, comparison between the two, how they swatch, how they dry, how they apply. With the primer as well, I think the primer really helped this foundation apply so well. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and of course I'll speak to you very soon. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos very soon. Until then, as usual, please be safe. Bye.